music lovers, we're back again looking at the CD collection. This is part three. I'm going to look at the next two rows because otherwise the video would just be crazy long. And as always, of course, I have a hot Asian chick shooting this for me. I always do. Say hello. Go ahead and say hello. What's up? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, as you know, I always like to have the, the hot Asian chick shooting stuff for me. Hey, listen, a lot of you apparently are Doris fans and Hall & Oates fans, and we're sorry that I didn't have any here. I have them in my iTunes. They're my iTunes. Um, they're a digital, uh, but I do have them, and I love them both. Also, a lot of Pink Floyd fans wondered why there was no Pink Floyd under F. Because it's a band name. It's under P. Don't worry, the guy had plenty of Pink Floyd. Uh, oh, and, and also, you guys had asked why I have no uh, Colton Carter. Or as you may call him, Jonathan Colton. I actually do. I've, I've got it all right here on this handy... Uh, this, it's a little jump drive. It's a little jump drive where all of his music, everything he's recorded, is uh, right there on this little jump drive. And, if, and you too can get one of these at his website. I think they're um, like 50 bucks for everything he's recorded. That's a deal. Anyway, I love I love Colton Carter. He makes some good music. Oh, also, finally, I wanted to uh, say thanks for all the recommendations. You guys uh, recommended a lot of great stuff to me, and I picked up a lot of great stuff over the past week. Uh, my favorites were, um, I really, I thought Deerhoof was really interesting, whoever recommended them. Uh, Dan Auerbach is really cool. I think my favorite of all has got to be a band I've never heard of, Freelance Whales. Sort of like Iron and Wine, I really dig that stuff. And Wrist Strong had a really funny comment, said, What? No, insert band name here. As if I could have everything. It's not possible for me to have everything. I have too much as it is. All right, let's start on row five. Uh, we got some more Ted Hawkins. I talked to him already. I've got a little disco with Heat Wave, Too Hot to Handle. Oh, I know that disco sucks, but that's a fun album. And, of course, then you get into Jimi Hendrix. Yes, of course I've got Jimi Hendrix. You guys asked about Jimi. You know, strangely, one of my favorites is probably the Radio 1 CD. I really enjoy the Radio 1 CD. That's fun. Got some Herman's Hermits for a little uh, British Invasion stuff. Lots of John Hyatt. John Hyatt sort of continues all the way through here. He's an amazing singer-songwriter. If you don't know him, grab... Uh, geez. Boy, these are... They're all so good. Bring the Family, Slow Turning, Walk On. Those are three of my favorites. Really good. Are you bored yet, Greg? This is Greg running camera for me here. Just let me know when you get bored. Because if you're bored, they're certainly going to be bored. What else? Then we got got some more age. We've got some Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. That's just fun music. Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. Buddy Holly. And of course, I got the Hollies and Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly, he's one of those guys who died way before his time and made some amazing stuff. Uh, I, I would have loved to have seen what, what he would have done if he would have lived as well as Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and Sam Cooke and Otis Redding and all these people who died way too young. Um, I got some Hound Dog, I got some Michael Hurley, some... Yeah, I have Indigo Girls. I do. I really only like this one, though, Rites of Passage. That's the only one that I really enjoy. Uh, Iron and Wine. Okay, you guys, if you don't know Iron and Wine, Iron and Wine, this is amazing. Go get yourself this. This is my favorite, uh, Our Endless Numbered Days. They're really sweet, mellow, beautiful stuff, but not, I mean, the lyrics can be often sad and disturbing, but really just amazing stuff. Uh, this whole section is pretty much Joe Jackson. Lots of Joe Jackson. His first two albums are still my favorite. Look Sharp and I'm the Man. They're amazing. But you know what? The album that he made when he got the original band back together was pretty great too. Volume 4. Also, one of the best concerts I've ever seen was the Volume 4 tour at the House of Blues. Um... Little Jethro Tull, little Billy Joel, uh, Elton John. I mean, you know, I have a lot of the classic 70s singer-songwriters. I, I gotta have them. Elton John, I would go with um, Honky Chateau. It's a good album. Uh, okay, Jack Johnson. Because why not? I enjoy the Jack Johnson, especially his debut album, Brushfire Fairy Tales. When I used to call Kim, when we first started dating, uh, she would put me uh, on hold sometimes at her job, at the time, and uh, Jack Johnson would be playing because someone apparently, you know, at Warner Brothers, where she was working, really liked the Jack Johnson CD. So it would be the hold music, and I associate that from when I first started dating Kim. Uh, Freddie Johnston is a really amazing uh, kind of rock and roll singer-songwriter, and Can You Fly is a pretty kick-ass album. That's Freddie Johnston. Uh, although I have all his stuff. I've got, oh, you know what? 
Kelly Jones. There, you, won't, you won't find a whole lot of um, female singers in my collection because I don't really, uh, I, I kind of can identify more with male voices than female voices. But wow, this is really great upbeat pop music. And it's produced by Mike Viola, who's another one of my favorite singer-songwriters. This is an awesome album. It's called She Bang by Kelly Jones. Then, of course, Nora Jones, uh, Jimmy Jones, Stephen Jones. Those are jokes. Sharon Jones is not a joke. Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, that's some what, what you would think would be actual 1960s or 70s soul, but it's, it's brand new stuff. She's just recording it old style. She's great. Jude is cool. Jude. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of Jude. And then, of course, next to Jude is the Judies. If you're from Texas, then you've heard of the Judies. If you're not from Texas, you probably haven't. But wow, that was some fun, crazy stuff that you probably wouldn't like if you didn't already hear it in the 1980s. Uh, Gary Jules, really good singer-songwriter. <laughs> this is fun. If you're a fan of the police, Clark Kent is the offshoot band that they uh, that Stuart Copeland did back in, I don't know, 79 or something like that. Clark Kent, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, some Carole King is in there. King Straggler! This is a great album, and this is a band you probably have never heard of. This is a band uh, that features my buddy John Hawks, who's an actor, and uh, this is his band. They're sort of like an alt-roots... I don't know what they are. They're just great. And they write amazing songs and really good stuff. What else? Kings of Convenience. The Kinks. Okay? I have a lot of kinks. If you if you don't know the kinks, go pick yourself up uh, uh, the Village Green Preservation Society, which is an amazing album. Uh, or if you want some later kinks, you can get uh, Misfits. Misfits is a really good later album. I love everything by the kinks. I'm just I'm crazy about them. Um... Now, everything here is in alphabetical order, except when something gets out of order, like the Traveling Wilburys, so I'll put that back wherever that's supposed to go. But this is good that I'm going through this, or else I'd be looking through T going, where the hell's my Traveling Wilburys CD? Oh, here's, this is a really excellent um, collection of kinks if you just kind of want to get the ultimate collection. It's called the ultimate collection. Look at that. Really kind of perfect uh, British Invasion 60s rock and roll. Just really great stuff. Uh, I have got... Clatu, a band in the 70s that people thought might be the Beatles in disguise, but they're not. Uh, let's see, what else? Comita. Comita's a cool pop band. My favorite of theirs is uh, What Makes It Go. Got some Alison Krauss, Lenny Kravitz, uh, Ben Queller. I love Ben Queller. Uh, he's great. This, uh, his first is probably my favorite, and it's autographed. Oh, nice. I met him at the Virgin, Virgin Megastore, and he did that. Daniel Lenoir is really great. Uh, and, of course, there's the Led Zeppelin. I'm not even going to go into Led Zeppelin. You've heard of them. If I had to pick a favorite, those probably Houses of the Holy. How about you, Greg? What's your favorite Led Zeppelin album? You can talk. Go, go ahead. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're not a Led Zeppelin fan. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, John Lennon. Of course, I don't have to tell you about John Lennon. Except that if you want to get a great album by John Lennon, get Plastic Ono Band. Wow! That's... Disturbing stuff, but really great. And I've got his son, Sean Lennon. I enjoy Sean Lennon as well. Uh, here's, here's a guy you may not have heard of. His name is... Um, gosh, you're going to have to tell me where he's from, because I forget. He, maybe he's Dutch or Finnish or something. I don't know. But his name is Sanja Lerche, I think is how you pronounce it. Two-way monologue. Wow, that's a good album. And so his face is down. But he's, uh, he's really excellent. Here's a band I saw open for They Might Be Giants once called Lincoln. They made one album and then broke up, but I love this album. Linus of Hollywood. Now we're talking. This is some perfect pop music right here. Linus of Hollywood. Not only is he a friend of mine, but he is a super great uh, singer-songwriter who makes uh, beautiful harmonies, great catchy pop songs. And and if you're watching, hi, Linus. How are you? G-Love and Special Sauce, though, right here. This is Coast to Coast Motel, and it's my favorite G Love and Special Sauce album. Although I kind of like them all, that's a really, really good one. I got a bunch of Lyle Love It. Uh, Nick Lowe. Nick Lowe's really amazing. I, I love all of them. I can't pick a favorite. Okay, for ELO fans, if you don't have Jeff Lynne's solo album, Armchair Theater, you should get it because it's really great. And I think it's out of print. You could probably pick up a used copy of it pretty cheap or something. Uh, let's see what else. Shelby Lynn is cool. Kirsty McCall, we lost her again, too young. She, she, she was apparently run over by a jet ski or something, or a boat, something horrible like that. But, uh, yeah, she was, I believe, English. She's really great. Get yourself her, her little, her box set. 
There she is. She was good. This is an extra CD I have. The Make Peace Brothers. Hey, do one of you guys want this? There's a, there's a band that I saw live somewhere, and I, I, I bought their CD. Anyway, if you want this, uh, leave me a message that you want it, and I'm going to pick one at random. Just say, hey, I want that. Amy Mann. Amy Mann's another one of my favorites. She's, like, truly incredible. I'm with Stupid, Bachelor Number 2. Pretty much, pretty, you can't go wrong with Amy Mann. Anything with her is, is pretty great. Um, I still really enjoy this first album by Marcy Playground. That's uh, from 97, and I just I still just think it's great. Bob Marley. Okay, I have everything by Bob Marley, and my favorites have got to be probably Natty Dread. And uh, well, let's just stop there. If you just want one, pick that one up. It's a good place to start. Or a best of. Okay, I've tweeted about Matt the Electrician uh, a lot. This is a guy from Austin, Texas, and he's an amazing singer-songwriter. He's just, he's so great. He, he's a multi-instrumentalist. He plays just about everything on this album, and uh, and he's got a bunch of other albums, and I think that they're all, I think they're all great. Um, this is his previous one, but, uh, but pick out Animal Boy, because that's, uh, wow, that's good stuff. I got some John Mayer, I got some, uh, well, I got a bunch of McCartney, just because I'm a Beatles fan, you gotta have McCartney. I still probably like his, uh, his first album, or actually, I kind of like, um, Wildlife by Wings, that's a good one, but, I, you know, Band on the Run is, of course, pretty amazing. Somebody mentioned, hey, Greg, you should try James McMurtry. I love James McMurtry. He's kind of a country rock singer, songwriter. He's great. Enjoy him. Uh, David Mead. David Mead is great. I think, I, I may only have these two albums, mine and yours and uh, Luxury of Time, but David Mead's a great, possibly English singer, songwriter. I got some John Mellencamp. What can I say? I do. I like him. I like, I, I like him. I especially like... The Lonesome Jubilee, if I had to. I like one. I know it's very middle of the road, but I like it. Um, Tift Merritt, I like her. Steve Miller Band, of course, because uh, why not? You, you want a you rare, um, obscure soul singer from the 60s? Check out Garnet Mims. Seriously, Garnet Mims. This guy was great. This guy was great. If you like, you know, Otis Redding and, you know, guys like that, Sam and Dave, you'll, you'll enjoy Garnet Mims. Uh, let's see what else. Mini Bar, lots of Joni Mitchell. I, I love Joni Mitchell. Uh, my favorite of hers is probably Court and Spark. And uh, that brings us to the end of that row. Actually, Mofro is at the end of that row. So there's an album by Mofro. Anybody heard of them? Uh, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment if you want that CD. And I'll get you the next version of this, the next couple of rows for you music lovers, within another couple days or something. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.